Lions in the camp. That woke you up, didn't it? <laughs> yes, boxing fans. Welcome back to the mob predictions, previously known as Matthias on boxing. You're listening again today with Jordan. Told you there's an exciting update coming for the channel. And here it is. Rebranding, represent what we're doing going forward and representing what we're all about. So the mob preview, pre-fight and predictions is here. And I'm really excited to kickstart this new era for the channel, bringing you a preview on Anthony Yard's upcoming fight. He is set to fight Emin Atra on Saturday the 10th of July. 2021 at the Royal Albert Hall in London. That's actually the day of my birthday, so that'll be nice for me to sit down and watch some boxing to celebrate. And the fight is scheduled for 10 rounds in the light heavyweight division. That is a weight limit of 175 pounds or 12.5 stone. The fight will appear on the undercard of Lyndon Arthur's and David Farachi's clash. Obviously, Lyndon Arthur previously defeating Yard. And on the undercard as well will be Zach Parker and Sherrod Kuzinov's contest, also along with Archie Sharp and Marcio Souza's bouts as well. So the beast, Mr. Anthony Yard, steps into the ring with a record of 20 wins, two losses, no draws. 19 of those wins come in by knockout, and Emin Atra will make his way into the ring with an unblemished but also slightly underwhelming record of 17 wins, no draws, and 12 of those come in by knockout. Obviously, the stats suggest Yard has a large advantage in power, boasting a 95% knockout ratio. Anthony Yard is 29 years of age, and both Yard and Atra fight out of an orthodox stance. Yard is the far more experienced fighter at a higher level, goes into the fight ranked number 10 by the WBC, 13 by the WBO, and 12 by the IBF at light heavyweight. Yard, though, I do think is coming under a little bit of pressure and scrutiny now at this stage of his career. You know, at 29, still young, still got plenty of time left in the sport, but does need to get past this opponent and get himself another big fight. Obviously, a loss to Kovalev is no shame, but then also compounded that with a loss to Lyndon Arthur, albeit close. I do think Yard, with a hype around him, is now maybe under a little bit of pressure and potentially in a little bit of a rush in his career to get things going and get some big names on his record. So I am excited to see Anthony Yard back in the ring. I think he's a very talented fighter and very naturally talented. I don't think this guy is going to cause him much trouble, but Yard does need to sweep this guy aside and go on to bigger and better things sooner rather than later. So if we get into my prediction then, if I haven't made it obvious already, I'm expecting Anthony Yard to win this fight convincingly. I'm expecting to win this fight by stoppage. And I'm expecting him to win this fight within six rounds. I don't think much of his opponent. Very, very unheard of. There's no stats about him. He's a German. He's undefeated. But I do feel like when you get these fighters where they don't have much stats on them, it says a lot. You know, with 17 fights in, we probably would have heard a bit more if this guy had a lot to offer, uh, which I don't think he does. So for me, yeah, Anthony Yard, stoppage win inside the first six rounds. After this fight then I would really like to personally see Anthony Yard go up against someone like a Callum Johnson, you know, really get a British name under his belt uh, that everyone knows and everyone respects. I think that would do a lot for his career in terms of pushing him on again to try and challenge for world level. So it's not a step back for Anthony Yard, I think he needs this fight just off the cobwebs, but I think after this one it will end quickly. I think they should move quite fast with getting Yard his next fight I think he needs to get one around September, October at the latest, to be honest with you. He needs to get straight back out there. He needs a decent British name and he needs to get that hype going again. I do think Anthony Yard has the potential to do good things. The experience he's got under his belt now, but he needs to do it the right way for me. He needs to build up now, get some British opponents on his record, get that hype, get that buzz around him naturally, not just have it built by promotion by his trainer, by Tunde Ajayi, get a natural buzz going where it's actually the people that are talking him up and not just the people that are around him. So yeah, excited to see him back in the ring, excited to see him get out there, see what he can do against this guy, but I want Anthony Art out again before the end of the year in a big, big fight so we can see where he's really at. That'll do then for me on this one. Please hit like for me, hit subscribe, drop us a comment down below. 
Again, a really exciting time for the channel. Loads of fight previews and predictions available right now for you to get stuck into. Let us know your thoughts on all of them if you can. And yeah, drop me a comment down below. What do you think of Anthony Yard? Let me know even what you think of his career so far. What you should do next. Do you rate him or not? Let me know in the comments. I'll get straight back to you via my own channel. And like I said, hit like for me. Hit subscribe. Really, really exciting times coming up. Going to bring you the best boxing content that we possibly can. And I can't wait to continue to be involved in it. Jordan again for The Mob. We'll speak to you soon.